an ophthalmologist said that he needed, you know, a specialist to look at it. So they recommended the Storm Eye. He can play outside now. He likes to look at books. He watches cartoons. He can see to be faced with maybe he wouldn't be able to see, you know. That, that was a scary thing. There was no set procedure for this. Now they'll be able to help someone else. Well, it was very traumatic because all of a sudden you, your son can't see and you don't know why. The doctors that we were sent to in Florida didn't want to really get involved with that type of surgery on a, such a, a young child. And um, I asked a question to the doctor, who would be your recommendation if this was your son? And he, he led us to Dr. Wilson. If a surgery on your child can be an experience, that was a wonderful experience. And we always just think, you know, he has an implant, and for what he's gone through, I owe him all the courage, because I don't know if I could do that. All right, bud. It, it has changed my life. I, you know, you take for granted the five senses that you have. Once you lose one, uh, you know, compared to what I can see now, I could honestly say I was legally blind. It really, really puts a strain on your living. So, you know, and now after the surgery, I mean, there's no restraint. I can drive, I can play catch with my uh, football players, um, kids. Um, you know, I can, I can do whatever I want now. I can, I can do whatever I want. If anybody would walk in and uh, see the kids here uh, that obviously can't afford the kind of care that this would normally cost, um, and then the number of children that he helps that w might not ever be able to see if it had not been for him, how could you not want to support an organization like this?